Hello guys, this is Karina. Uh, dzień dobry, jestem Jimmy. Jestem Jesz. Ah. Oh, jestem Jesz, yeah, my new friend here. And this is uh, an exhibition of our friends here. It's called In the Park, so that's our background. Uh, but let's get started with cooking. Yeah, they let us use their kitchen because it's bigger and we're going to make some pierogi today. Uh, pierogi with nettles. Mm. Be careful, uwaga. Yeah, be careful. And uh, I want to show you how to make pierogi because it's my favorite traditional Polish meal. And it used to be a peasant food, but nowadays everyone's eat it. And if you come to Poland, you should totally try it. What it's do you think favorite. about it? It's my favorite. When I got here, I think I had it probably for almost the entire month. Pierogi almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but traditional ones are with mushroom and cabbage, with meat or with potatoes. And we call this ones Russian, uh, but they call them Polish in Russia, so mm. it's... A little bit of a mix, right? Yeah, a little bit of a mix. Uh, so pierogi used to be a peasant food because it's really cheap to make them. And uh, for a dough, you only need water, salt and uh, flour. Uh, and for today's filling, it's nettles, cottage cheese, blue cheese, onions and garlic. Okay, nettles. Uh, they look like this, if you don't know what it is, nettle and they burn, so you have to be careful when you collect them. It's best to collect them from May to June, and then you can... Ah! Yeah, you can actually, you. You can actually dry them and uh, make a tea from them, because they, they uh, keep you healthy, so if you drink a tea from nettles every day, uh, you're gonna be very healthy. And uh, my assistant collected them today. It's, it's a hard job being the assistant, because I have a video that I'll show you guys of the wonderful moment where I was like trying to feel the earth and feel content and I saw, you know, a little snail and, and said hi to him and then I got stung by the nettles. Okay, I think we have a little bit too much, <laughs> but you, it's better to have more of them because they're going to shrink. Okay, so to avoid getting burned, you need to pour the, hot, like the boiling water over them and wait one, two minutes. Okay, so Jimmy is gonna cut them for me because I don't wanna get burned. Yeah. I'm not gonna take the risk. No, but they're fine. But I have gloves on too, so, I mean, as much as you guys might enjoy watching me get stung by these things, I don't care that much for entertainment value. So, how small do I cut them? Chop them finely. Chop them finely. <laughs> Using yes. your cooking vocabulary, I like it. And it's for the filling, we're gonna need also onion and garlic, so I can cut them in the meantime. So it's also really nice to uh, have Karina as a flatmate because when she does her experiments of cooking and uh, I get to come home and she's like, so I made something today, so do you want to try it? And I love food, and I especially love when I get to just eat the food and not cook it, so. All right, I think it's good. Do you want yeah, the smaller? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You can cut the onion now. Oh, it's just me. Okay. That's why you have to wash your food too. <laughs> but I have a trick for cutting onion. If you put the lemon in your mouth, you're not gonna try, cry, you know, like this. No, the other side, wait. Open, <laughs> <laughs> Open your mouth. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we skip the part of frying, but you have to fry the garlic uh, onion and then add the nettles at the end because you don't want to keep them for too long in the pan because they will like lose their vitamins. So, when you have it done, you mix it with the assistant. Oh, yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Please. Yes, yes. You no mix problem. it with the cottage cheese. Mm. Did you already put the blue cheese in here as well? Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. I put the blue cheese um, in the pan and then now cottage cheese. Yeah. To make a dough, you need the flour. Dough. Yes. <laughs> that I have my English teacher always with me. Yeah. English, Polish, helping each other out. Two countries coming together as one. So, and a pinch of salt. 
the Karina magic. <laughs> uh, some people add egg to, to, to make a dough, but I don't. And yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Do you have another cup? I think so, yeah. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do this. So I wanna show you what you can make with the egg and uh, people in Poland used to eat it all the time during the communistic uh, times because we didn't have any sweets in the shop. So what they we're doing is just mixing the yellow part. The yolk of the egg? I, I'm always making such a mess when I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah. The yellow part of the egg with the sugar. It's like two eggs and two spoons of the sugar. So two egg yolks and then yeah. two... And, and then if you can mix it okay. like real quick. And is this supposed to be, it's a sweet? Yeah, it's uh -huh. sweet. It's like a dessert. Okay. You know, when you don't have anything sweet at home, you can just use just eggs and sugar. And it calls Kogel Mogel. So do you like it? Actually, it's not bad. It's like, you know, you think it's good protein, first of all. And then the, the sweetness of the sugar. Although, I think if I ate too much of this, I would get diabetes, but... Okay, so you can continue eating and I will finish the dough. <laughs> okay. By adding the water. My grandmother adds uh, sparkling water and to make the dough softer. It's because your grandmother's uh -oh. an angel. It's a learning experience, experience for me to watch Karina do it. But it's much better when I can just actually just watch her do it. Okay, no flow? Okay. Okay, so I made dough. 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 And I'm gonna pass it to Jimmy now. <laughs> and he will do hard it out. work. Yeah. Okay, to make pierogi you have to you need a circle of dube. Dough. <laughs> a circle <laughs> of dough. Yeah. yeah. And you make them with the with the cup. <laughs> All right. Push it really hard. Oh, and maybe not cut it. Push, push, push it, it real hard. good. Yeah. Take, <laughs> take this circle of oh. dough. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you take a tablespoon of the filling and you put it like in the middle. Jimmy, do you want to do it? Sure. And we'll switch. And then, oh, we need a fork. Oh, yes. you have one. So prepared that Karina. So you kind of stretch it out, right? Yeah, so yeah, you stretch it out. Oops. This is why I don't cook, because I think there's too Maybe much. Maybe we have there. too much, yeah. It's okay. Hmm. You can stretch you know, this out. Okay. How many of these little circles should we make for now? Just. And then you squeeze it with the, with the fork. So press it out. All right, so once you've got all your pierogi ready and made, set your salt water to a boil, and then let them rise. Once they've risen, then they're ready. So pierogi are ready. It's my favorite part of the show. And this show. <laughs> I'm gonna feed Jimmy with them. Maybe it's actually easier with your hand. You exactly. Know? Just just yeah. dig in. That's why I think pierogi would be a good street food because you can just take them in your hand and mm. just, you know. Mm. I like them. You like them? Yeah. And the nettles are healthy for you after they burn you. Mm -hmm. So it's even better. So it's sort of like, you know, it's a win-win situation. Mm. Of course, the best pierogies are handmade, but uh, if you know some good places with pierogi in Poland, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments so people who come to visit know where they can go and try them out. Yeah. Don't buy the frozen one from the No. <laughs> or come to Karina and ask her to make them for you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and subscribe to our channel. So next yeah, time subscribe to our channel and our video comes up, then you'll know. Hear from us. Uh, thank you guys. Bless. Bless. Thank you. In Polish is dziękuję. And this one was kind of funny because Jimmy was saying it with an Asian accent. Dziękuję. 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 But how you say it now? Dziękuję.